Remember 9-11? Remember the terrorists killing innocent people in the United States, Britain, France, Germany? Remember these countries then fighting these terrorist organizations, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, the war on terror? There's one country in particular at war with these same terrorist organizations, a country that has more Muslims than the entire population of the EU, a country where one province has more mosques than the entirety of the United States. That country is China. Yes, China. The ones you see them attacking in the news over coronavirus, Hong Kong, Tibet, Taiwan, Huawei. Lately, China has been defamed over its Muslim Uyghurs. You see, there's this group, the East Turkmenistan Islamic Movement. For decades, the United States has designated it a terrorist organization because they've been found fighting everywhere, from Afghanistan to Syria to Libya. The East Turkmenistan Islamic Movement is China's Al Qaeda. And all means of de-radicalization is being used to defeat them. This East Turkmenistan Islamic movement, though still involved in terrorism, has now been removed by the US from the designated terrorist organization list. And others, like Twitter and even the British Foreign Office, have taken up the ETIM cause. War is peace and peace is war. Yes, the authors of the WMD hopes are at it again. But why? Weren't we all supposed to be fighting against Al-Qaeda and ISIS? Is it to do with weakening China? Is it to stop its economic rise? Is spreading fake news about China, Huawei and its Muslims and the rest the way to stop China's growing power? You decide. Muslims from Palestine to Kashmir to Iran must surely wonder about that. But China will solve its extremism problem. And China will not allow any foreign country to interfere in her domestic affairs any longer. President Biden, take note.